But if you've got a don't have an index or a bad index, it might have to read every single line on this page to figure out the information you wanted. When we're relating it to the real world, the, the obvious analogy is a book index. And that's in fact where the name index comes from is because they were trying to imitate a book index or a library index. If you make a book index, try and execute some queries with it. And let's have an example here. So this is a, a page out of one of my relatively distant relatives, Sir Jamie Oliver. And this is at the index to one of his cookbooks. And it's indexed by ingredient and then by recipe. So I can look up, say, octopus. I come down to O, find octopus, and then I can quickly find recipes under there. And if I wanted a particular recipe, I could find the ingredient and then find the recipe very quickly in that list. And you can really understand quite easily in there how you would look stuff up. And that's the same way SQL Server is looking, trying to look stuff up for your queries. But if you've got a don't have an index or a bad index, it might have to read every single line on this page to figure out the information you wanted. And that's what we're trying to avoid with indexing, is avoiding having to read everything. We're thinking we're going to create some indexes. How can we um, visualize what's going to be in the index and how it's going to look. So you can actually write a select that basically mirrors and gives you back as the results what your index is going to look like. And then you can try by hand trying to find the information you were going to ask for. So here I'm trying, I'm about to create an index and its name is going to be IX name date and it's going to be on the badges table and it's going to have name and date in the query. So if I write select name date from badges, order by name date, so in other words, just the two fields repeated, I get back exactly what that index looks like as it's stored in the index in SQL Server. And what you get is something that looks a bit like this. So here's my, you can see it's all in, group by name, and then the dates are in order. And if we want to find something, like this SQL statement down here, I'll replace SQL Server with .htaccess because that's all I've got on the left there. I can very quickly find the count. I can just count those. There's 31 of those. Max date and min date. That means I've got to go to the first row and the last row and grab the date of each. And I fulfilled my query. And that was all I had to do. I didn't have to read, say there was a million rows there. I just had to find my way to this block and find the first one and the last one in the block and I'm done. That's why indexes can be so powerful, is that they can allow you to avoid scanning the whole table. <laughs>